I think that Chanel was saying pig semen is good for your like complexion or something. Yeah. Okay. And then she's like, imagine being the person to, that has to jack it off. Oh, like Rebecca Lees. Ask oh, Rebecca Lees, yeah. <laughs> and then Isabel goes, but pigs are women. And Chanel mm. was like, not all pigs are female. Mm. How do they reproduce? Mm. And then Isabel's like, <laughs> Like a boar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see what she's on to there. Yeah. Like she means like sows, right? They're called yeah. sows, aren't they? Yeah. It was Dear. funny at the time, though, wasn't it? Dear a me. Little chuckle at that. And I put Joe was appalled by Ellie talking about cum. Yeah, she was talking about pushing the cum out of her fanny after sex. Yeah, was she? Yeah. Yeah. That was actually a step too far. Mm. Like I've seen a lot of shit in the house, but mm. like pushing it out, why? Like afterwards, so that they can watch it come out. What? For fun, like it's hanging out and it like dripping into the <laughs> toilet or something. Exactly. Oh, I'd rather see King sitting on a wine bottle than uh, hear, that, hear that conversation because the visuals are just going. Uh, oh, and she spat it out the window in Magaluf. Oh, that was it. She said she doesn't like swallowing, so she spat out the window. See, innocent little Ellie, mm. who can't be touched by mm. Sam, she's probably been fucking sleeping on TV, or sleeping around on TV already on that weekend of thing. Oh, no, no doubt. Spat it out the window. I would just like Watch out if I didn't want to swallow it I'd just spit on the person be like here have it back or just like a tissue or something <laughs> people heard of a tissue for fuck's sake <laughs> right next the nominations were broadcast on the village notice board oh uh, yeah that was good Hannah said that Tom has never liked me or my sister mm. but now you want to be my friend mm. Charlotte oh whose nomination is this oh yeah Hannah's nomination she said she nominated Charlotte she, because she'd said that she thought that if she didn't if she didn't leave it wouldn't change the house dynamics well. if, she, if she did leave sorry not didn't leave <laughs> <laughs> either wouldn't matter <laughs> oh god <laughs> Sam nominated Charlotte and Deborah about Charlotte he was annoyed that she told Ellie not to come near him because mm-hmm. that's his storyline obviously mm-hmm. and she said that Deborah had given him the cold shoulder was not mm-hmm. interested in what I'd got to say mm-hmm. well don't blame him why would he why would she be <laughs> Ellie said that Raph has been two-faced, but this was an influence from Simone, was it? My, uh, it was yeah. totally what Simone yeah, told yeah, her yeah. to do. Fucking easily. And he knows too Dumbo. much about Big Brother. Oh, they're all saying that. <laughs> and he's been listening in on us. <laughs> and um, she said about Hannah, she can't see when she's been selfish. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what Simone told her, I think. Mm. Next, Simone got to nominate and nominate Hannah and Raph. Hannah was irritating the house with how loud she is and her mood changes. And about Raph, he's got a he's got a game plan. He's a Big Brother fan and he's watched it every year. Oh, fucking hell. Who Disgusting. hasn't watched Big Brother every year? Disgusting. Having watched a programme that you're featuring on. <laughs> Imagine going on a programme that you've never seen. That oh, Kieran's would be never watched an episode, re- apparently. That's bollocks. Everyone's watched one episode. Yeah, somebody did say, like... Actually, this might have been Kwame. Mm-hmm. Kwame, who does YouTube videos, who tweeted us... Hi, he, tweet, he tweeted us me about me fancying Raph, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said, are you telling me that when you get selected for Big Brother that you're not going to go and at least of watch course. like every of episode course. you can get your hands on? Yeah. Um, we'll come back to something that Kwame raised later on. Well, that's going to put him on edge now if he's listening. Well, good, he can be on edge. <laughs> <laughs> Toying with his emotions. That's like, I'll see you in my office later. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like Sue. Um, I'll talk to you after you've had some breakfast. Yeah, it's like, fuck <laughs> I wouldn't like that. If I was listening to a podcast, I'm like, oh, we got some feedback from Lindsay, but I'll talk about that later. I'd be like, oh, when? <laughs> right, <laughs> it's Raph, not bad, it's something nice. Raph nominate. You don't know that. You don't know what it is. Well, it's not bad. I'll say something nice if you know. Raph nominated Joe and Ellie. Joe, because he changes his emotions and he's here for money, not the experience. Mm-hmm. True. And Ellie, because she talks about sex a lot of the time, mm. he said it's tedious and she relies too much on male companionship. That's true, she does. And he feels sorry for her, uh, like she needs a guy in her life to feel okay. That's true. <laughs> That's very true. Andrew nominated Joe and Tom. Mm-hmm. Joe's really nice one minute and he's not so nice the next. Mm. What and, did he say and about And it's Tom? not his house, he said about Joe. True story, it's not. Mm. He acts like it is, though. So. Yeah, but we're, my, we've been here 29 days. <laughs> <laughs> um... Of Tommy said he's a follower, so if someone says something, it can have an impact on what he thinks himself. Mm-hmm. He's a sheep. Deborah nominated Tom mm. and Joe. Good noise. Yeah. yeah, perfect. If it's not about Tom, he's not interested. He's done some malicious things, she said. Mm. And Joe has a negative effect on the house. Mm-hmm. Although Joe did perk up in the last week, but I think it was just because he was nominated. Yeah, right? it yeah. was definitely mm. um, 
like conscious mm. lightening of the mood of mm. Joe's mood. Sue, during that whole task, Sue was sat there. She went, "It's much better than watching her home." Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sue also had to nominate. Jeez, there's more. Did she nominate? Yeah, Charlotte, Charlotte and, and Tom. Tom. Mm. She, and Tom for being fake and kissing ass. He's basically my tail. Uh, yeah. What, Sue's tail. Following her around. <laughs> That was quite insulting, and they looked quite shocked by that, which I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. That was good, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. did, did Simone also nominate? Yeah, Han- Hannah and Raph. Oh, yeah, well, no, I covered those already. That's the mm. end of those nominations. Simone was saying, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, she, Simone was apologising for hers, and Sue went, I'm not sorry. You shouldn't have to be sorry for playing the game. Mm. But she's right. Good you have point. got to nominate. What mm. is the point of being sorry? Mm. You had to choose somebody. Yeah. They all know that. And then Sue was sticking up for Raph and saying it's not fair that people are targeting you because you're a fan. Yeah. Yeah, which is good. At least someone actually gets it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Actually, she went up to him, didn't she? Yeah. And said, like, actually, it's the opposite of what you think, the mm-hmm. public think, that mm. you're actually actually loved, which I didn't like her saying, but I was like, mm. I'm glad that she's putting him straight, that it's not necessarily the worst thing. And she said, it's crap what they're saying about you. And she said, this is one of the biggest shows in the world... Well. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think you're fooling everybody is playing a game everybody is a fan of Big Brother or why do you want to be in this house mm. is it a crime to be a super fan well let's hope not <laughs> mm. <laughs> Simone was revealing about what they'd said on bots that's why that's why he got so upset what it was some fucking idiot psychologist yeah and not Judy James who I, who I like I think it was some I other one I don't like none of them Saying, oh, they're starting to say that we're seeing another side to Ralph on bots. Oh, There's no way anyone should be talking about what's being said on bots no. in that house. That's annoying. Ugh. What came next then? Um, Joe's being pissy to Andrew. Oh, yeah. Going, mate, I've been here 28 days. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Chanel said she got £300 from a guy for insulting him. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um... And then Money s- pigs, apparently they're called. Are they? Apparently. <laughs> so really, yeah. And then Chanel... Uh, no, sorry. Then Sam said he didn't just come in to replace Loton. Well, he did, but... Um, I've got your tattoo of the week here. Have you? Have you got one? Uh, tell me. No. you not got one? Gazi's tattoo <laughs> of the week, which is unknown. Which is what Tom said. What did he say? You're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be one of my favourite phrases on the Tom side, isn't it? <laughs> and then Deborah said she had never masturbated. Which, okay, this is also back to Kwame. This Kwame, opened a can of worms on Twitter. Did Were people saying that she'd already revealed that she'd got piercings? Mm, no, I don't think so. Go on, what's Kwame This was saying? deep, like... Some people watch mm. with more attention to detail than even you or I I'm ever would. I'm not surprised because we don't watch with any attention to detail whatsoever. So in Kwame's video, and this wasn't mm. even the point I was going to come back to. So, so what are his videos? He does videos about Big Brother. He does like little uh, r- like wrap ups, <laughs> like little mm-hmm. reviews about what's little recaps oh, every day. Um, I don't know about every day. That's cool. I'll like every those. few days, maybe. Uh-huh. And he's from America, mm-hmm. so he's getting. A, a different perspective to That's us. Cool, this is good. Um, and he was saying, "What is this again?" That I was talking about about the v- masturbating. Oh, yeah, he he also sometimes includes a few little clips, which mm-hmm. is cool. So or sound bites, and also tweets and stuff. So mm-hmm. it's like a better version of pots. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he said that <laughs> basically a few days before, or maybe a week before, they'd been st- they'd been all stood around in the kitchen, the girls, mm-hmm. and Deborah revealed that she had that piercing. Mm-hmm. And Charlotte was all surprised that time around. Mm-hmm. And then when it came out again this time, mm. Charlotte was acting all surprised again, but it wasn't the first time she'd heard this information. Really? And he showed the clips to prove it. I don't remember that, though. No, I didn't either. Maybe what the first one was on bots or something, I don't know. But still, yeah, you're right. the point is remains that you wouldn't be surprised twice. No. That's weird. But also, would you not masturbate yet you'd have pierce like vaginal piercings? It seems a bit mad, doesn't it? It it's does quite to a me. It's a big thing to have your clitoris pierced or whatever it is. It sounds, it sounds painful it as sounds fuck. Hideous. Yeah. Um yeah. Um but don't you think it's sad when women don't masturbate? Well, I think you said that. Yeah. And I some d- people said to you like Loads of people came for me. Even Black Jungle Snake said something about like 
yeah. that's normal or something. And I was thinking, yeah, I don't know if he said it was normal, but he no, said something. Like, you know, he's a man. I don't um, know. No, he, uh, this girl said to me, oh, um, oh god, oh what god, did she yeah, say? I've forgotten, but it was I like, oh, I can't it was something about like quote. when there's was, no man around. Yeah, you need to savor it until there's a man around. It's like what the fuck? What if by that logic, fucking yeah. Anne Summers would be out of business? Yeah, and also, what if you're single? Also, what if you're gay? Also. What, what you if, just like it? Yeah, and what if... I don't fucking wait around for a man. Fuck you. And the fact that a woman said that. Oh, it's just, that is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. No, it my... just felt like people... There was a kind of viewpoint that girls shouldn't do that. It's pathetic. Which I don't really understand. And then my friend on, and then my friend on Facebook said, all girls do it, they just don't admit to it. So I don't know if that's true. But I just thought, fucking... It might be that Deborah didn't want to admit to it. Yeah, didn't she say something like she's got professional people outside or something like that what? something like that <laughs> like she's worried about her image or something because of her job or something I think but like Jesus Christ, if a woman can't, ima- can't imagine can't <laughs> admit that they masturbate like what's the world coming it's to it's like 2017 it's pathetic and if waiting around for a man to do it half of men don't even do it anyway so fucking useless <laughs> and if you don't know how to please yourself how are you going to know what you want off someone else? Exactly. That sounds like Gaz's tattoo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's my own. Redux. Um, yeah, that just pissed me off. I just thought, oh, for fuck's She said sake. the only thing she's ever done is putting a tampon in. Mm, that's not very sexy. <laughs> and then someone said, I'm not telling you to fist yourself. All you need is some clip work. <laughs> was, I think it was Charlotte. That, really? That's, that sounds like Chanel, but... I'm not telling you to fist yourself. Mm, yeah. I think it might have been Charlotte. She raised this. Could and then she be, went, well. Let me just reevaluate. So, so you've never masturbated, but you've got your clip pierced. Mm. <laughs> Which that is, is true. Weird. Good point. But then I suppose if you've got your clip pierced, if it, you might feel like you're masturbating all the time if it's like always rubbing against. Imagine that, feeling no like idea. turned on all the time. Ooh, that would be horrible. It can't be. Oh, I wouldn't like that. Um, Let's be real, I don't even know what a clip is. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> At least you've got the excuse of being gay. Um, <laughs> that was it, I think, for that episode. I've got Joe bitching about Raph, but that's, I don't know. I've got no Yeah, context. and there's a bit you've understandably missed where Sam was trying to get in bed with Eddie for a cuddle. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, Joe was bitching about Raph. He's too clever. He's playing everyone. Mm. Revenge is sweet, and I do believe in revenge. An eye for an eye. Oh, <laughs> Fuck Jesus off, Christ. Joe. Now, we had a request from Black Jungle Snake. Who may not like the idea of women? Oh, it's on this episode, yeah. But Deborah doing her Nigerian accent, which I'm not even convinced that Deborah can do a convincing Nigerian <laughs> yeah, accent. Yeah, and he, the time. he said, "Can I do it?" And I said, "I think that might be culturally inappropriate for me to do it." So off you go, guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said you think I could do it. Yeah, I can't um, do it. I don't even know what she said, but I do like it when she does it. She. This was when she went to the dorm. I don't know what she was talking about, but I remember the first line of it. Yeah, go on. Here we go. She went. Oh, there was thunder, big brother. Big brother, there was thunder in the house. That's what she said. And I can't remember what she was talking about. And then after that, she slipped back into like a bit of East London. She went a little bit back to Nigeria. I think she curtailed around Kenya for a second. Because <laughs> I was watching that with someone who had not seen big, much of this year's Big Brother. And they thought that was how she actually talked. <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, she's just doing an accent. I think it's good to have the luxury of a choice of accents, though, isn't it? Uh yeah, and it's fine to do it if you're of that race, just not if you're not. What is this Fundo Indy house that she was I talking about? I can't remember. I don't know. But that morning they had um, they had that alarm. Mm-hmm. Do you remember? Oh, they wouldn't that get alarm's up. Alarm's horrible. That's the old school alarm they've had for years. Oh, like, it's like, horrendous. Get the barking dogs on. Mm, not good. Why was I can't remember what was Deborah saying when she had put on that accent? She was having a go at I somebody. I don't know. But she... I, I don't know. I, my notes... I think it was about the way Tom was acting or something. I can't remember. Could have been. My, my notes aren't very good for that day. Do you think that I can pass with that accent? It wasn't bad. It made me laugh. Let's see what Black Jungle Snake thinks about Yeah. That. He did put us up to it. Yeah. You if anyone's got a... any complaints, yeah. direct them at... Yeah. At, um, <laughs> I am not Letargo. I think it's his name. Is it? Yeah. I think his name is Letargo. Oh. That's confusing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then... Uh, Hannah said Simone is trying to get close to Ellie to get votes and then Simone said to Joe Raph's a nice guy and Joe went no comment and then Simone like so backtracked bitter. and then Simone like backtracked and went oh he is a bit of a game player actually so like, well, don't you mind it she'll just say whatever she thinks someone wants to hear to please them that's Simone she's got no fucking like 
Mm. Morals. <laughs> Morals. Um, have you noticed also, mm-hmm. Raph is always sitting on the bedroom floor at that little rolly table that he's got. No shit. Skin what is that up. little table? It's like a skin and up table, isn't it? It's like an upturned basket. 